we'd like to introduce you to an alternate method of soldering smart boards. This is especially recommended on QFN and DFN components due to the shorter canal that you have to work with on the smart board. We call this method drag soldering. And unlike the traditional smart board soldering method, it involves adding external solder. Like before, you need a good soldering iron, but unlike the normal smart board soldering technique, you can use a tip that's larger than the pitch of the part you are soldering. You will also need water-soluble flux. We also recommend that you use a vacuum system for any fumes if you have one. Step one is to place a component on the board. Smartboard makes it very easy to place a component on the board and line up the pads with the leads on the smartboard. Step two is to add solder flux and be very generous on the solder flux. Step number three is going to be to solder one pin down to hold the chip in place. Once you do this, you will be able to begin your drag soldering. Take the external solder and basically drag it into the grooves next to the chip. The solder flux should assure that there are no shorts or cold joints. Of course you'll do this for all four sides and then you'll want to check your work and look for cold jo joints or shorts. You should be able to avoid this with generous use of flux, but if you find any, use more flux and your iron to resolve it.